In the headlines, Parliament settles supplementary budget appropriation. Ecuadorian ambassador presents credentials to His Excellency Charles Savre and Dominica Marx, new lawyer with church ceremony. Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Priska Julian. Stay tuned for details of the headline stories and others coming up. Ecuador's new ambassador to Dominica, Her Excellency Maria Augusta Cali Andred, on last Wednesday presented her credentials to the President of Dominica, His Excellency Charles Savre. Dominica and the Republic of Ecuador have shared a fruitful diplomatic relationship since 2009. At the credential handing over ceremony, His Excellency highlighted the 2014 Memorandum of Understanding for establishing consultations between the two countries for technical cooperation. Your Excellency, I am pleased to note and acknowledge the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding on Thursday, 14th of August 2014, for the establishment of bilateral consultations between Ecuador and Dominica and a basic technical cooperation agreement between the government of Ecuador and the government of Dominica. The MOU encourages various forms of cooperation in the areas of economic development, trade, science and technology, culture, information, sports and tourism. The main objective is to hold consultative meetings every two years by mutual agreement of both parties, or more often if they see fit, on bilateral issues to discuss ways of developing and deepening relationships with each other and exchange views on regional and international issues of common interest. The main objective of the Basic Technical Cooperation Agreement is to promote technical cooperation between both parties through implementation of projects and activities in areas of common interest in accordance with the priorities established in their respective strategies and national development plans. His Excellency additionally mentioned some other initiatives in collaboration with Ecuador which he believes will develop Dominica's economy. Also noteworthy is the interest expressed by Ecuador in exchanging views with CARICOM for a possible agreement to promote greater trade integration between CARICOM member states and Ecuador. Ambassador Stephen Larocque, Secretary General of CARICOM, indicated that discussions could be in initiated to promote greater cooperation and political dialogue. Both Foreign Minister Ricardo Patino, Ambassador and Ambassador Larocque also discussed the potential for cooperation in sectors such as tourism, mining, agricultural research, fishing, flower production, among others. The Ecuadorian ambassador to Dominica expressed her delight in continuing the work established between Dominica and her country. Y ese también es el sentido de mi visita y presentación de cartas credenciales al señor presidente. Acercarnos más y mejor, pueblo a pueblo, gobierno a gobierno y poder dialogar sobre nuestras potencialidades artísticas y culturales. And that is also the purpose of my visit and to present and the presentation of my credentials to you, Mr. President, to get closer and better from people to people, government to government, and to be able to dialogue about our artistic and cultural potentialities. Conocer nuestro lugar en la sociedad del conocimiento del mundo actual, de la cual no podemos escapar, examinar el intercambio comercial, 
y explorar ese inmenso universo que representa el turismo para ambos países. To know our place in the society of the current world from which we cannot escape. To know our place in the society of the current world from which, sorry, which we cannot escape. Examine the cultural exchange and explore the immense universe that represents tourism for both countries. Also this news time on Thursday, Parliament convened for a debate on a supplementary appropriation budget presented by government. An appropriation bill is proposed a law that authorizes the expenditure of additional government funds to a budget already enacted in an annual appropriation. The supplementary appropriation adopted in Parliament on 21st September Friday for the financial year ended June 30th, 2018, amounted to over $248 million. The supplementary estimates total in $248 million. $991,704.28 being presented to this House today is in respect of advances made from the Contingencies Fund for the period January 2018 to June 2018. Just to note, Madam Speaker, that I will propose some corrections during the committee stage and this statement will reflect the changes. The main change is the amount allocated to the Ministry of Health and the consequential changes to the various totals. This presentation complies with Section 81 of the Commonwealth Dominica Constitution Order 1978, as well as Section 12 of the Finance Administration Act of 1994. These provisions allow the government the flexibility of incurring expenditure not originally approved in the annual budget where it is deemed necessary and subsequently seeking approval of the Parliament for such spending. The 2017-2018 national budget was $854,355,783 for the financial year 2017 to July 2018 and was presented at the first meeting of the third session of the ninth parliament which commenced on Thursday, July 27, 2017 at the parliament building. Also this news time, a church service was held last week to mark the opening of the 2018-2019 law year for the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. The Dominica Circuit held its mass at the St. Gerald's Hall Cathedral Chapel in Goodwill. In attendance was His Excellency the President of the Commonwealth of Dominica, Charles Savre and Mrs. Savre. The ceremony is attended by judges, magistrates, ministers and lawyers. Parish priest Father Nigel Karam delivered the homily. The context of today in which we read in this text may well help, help us to think about the body of law that you represent, the body of the legal fraternity, the body of law and order that you sitting here represent today body of rules and statutes, customs, for the harmonious functioning of the body of the community. You represent and uphold all that helps to facilitate life, facilitate freedom and responsibility of every citizen, every member of the body of this commonwealth, allowing each to take his or her rightful place. The Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, ECSC, was established in 1967 by the West Indies Associated States Supreme Court Order No. 223 of 1967. The ECSC is a superior court of record for the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, including six independent states, Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the three British Overseas Territories, Anguilla, British Virgin Islands and Montserrat, and the Commonwealth of Dominica. It has unlimited jurisdiction in each member state. You're watching National Focus more when we return.
Welcome back. The Honorable Member of Parliament for the St. Joseph constituency, Kelva Daru, says that despite the passage of Hurricane Maria last year, the Dominica Labour Party continues to make education a priority. On Thursday, the fourth session of the ninth parliament under the Commonwealth of Dominica Constitution got underway at the House of Assembly. This session of parliament was to debate the supplementary estimates of expenditure for the year 2017-2018 amounting to $248,991,776.28. While addressing the House, the Honorable Member of Parliament for the St. Joseph constituency said government has spent in excess of $3 million to ensure that students at universities across the world continue to receive assistance to further their education. The Honorable Minister took the opportunity to dispel the notion by members of the opposition who are of the view that government has not invested in the education sector post Hurricane Maria. That is why, Mr. Speaker, the people have to know, the Dominican people have to know, that in spite of the challenging times that we went through post Hurricane Maria, this Labour Party administration has remained committed to the education of our children, Mr. Speaker. And our Prime Minister himself went to several universities to speak to our students, to let them know and to reassure them, Mr. Speaker, that we will continue to provide them with the necessary support that they require, Mr. Speaker. And even here, at the Dominican State College, Senator Thomas, because clearly you're aware of that, we provided the college with over $1 million to ensure that the students without standing fees, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Daru says education has always been a priority for the Dominica Labour Party government. Really and truly, Mr. Speaker, we could have said that, yes, we have been hit badly by Hurricane Maria and we don't have the monies. We could have said that. We could have said we have other priorities. But one of the main priorities of this Labour Party administration continues to be education. And that is why, Senator Thomas, we continue to prioritize. And if you had done your research, you would have known, Senator, that the Ministry of Education now has priority areas in place that, can ens that will ensure that students who pursue tertiary level education, they can now go into critical areas and can come back now to contribute significantly and meaningfully towards the development of our country. In its supplementary estimates for January 2018 to June 2018, government spent in excess of $5,201,668.07 in the Ministry of Education. The Discover Dominica Authority, DDA, is continuing in efforts of restoring Dominica's flora in strategic areas on island. These efforts last Tuesday engaged tourists to Dominica, particularly passengers of the Fascination Carnival cruise ship. The visitors got the opportunity to plant trees in the Botanic Gardens in Roseau, one of Dominica's most visited tourist sites. The aim of the initiative is to restore the tree stock which was destroyed from passage of Hurricane Maria one year ago last Monday in September 18th. Today is the 18th of September, exactly one year after the passage of Hurricane Maria last year. And we thought it would be symbolic as well as a very tangible way of giving back to the nature island and making sure that we stay green and, and beautiful, which is what we're known for. That is the brand. Um, that Dominica represents. Uh, so planting trees, uh, part of the quest to plant a million trees on the nature island, we felt that we would use today as an opportunity to get some of them back in the ground. Because um, it's also a day that the Carnival Fascination cruise ship is visiting with a minimum of 2,000 visitors, we also thought it would be a good opportunity to get visitors to be involved in the exercise. One tourist who says though this is his first visit to Dominica was proud to be part of the process and hopes to return to witness the growth of Dominica and its plant life. Today I planted a tree uh, as part of a rejuvenation project for the botanical gardens here in Dominica. Such a great opportunity to, to take part in this and to see a community come back uh, time after time after hurricanes and tropical storms. I couldn't be happier to be a part of this. 
Students of the Convent High School Environment Club and other schools also took part in that tree planting event. Marketing manager DDA Vicky Chandler says the involvement of the students is hopeful to instill appreciation for Dominica's brand at an early age. And of course, children. It's always about the human beings. And the smaller we get people to understand the importance of, of our environment and the, the, the nature island concept and being part of what we're doing, which is good, uh, the better. So we have high school kids and primary school kids and visitors participating in the exercise today. DDA has also planted trees at other tourist sites, such as the Emerald Pool and the Trafalgar Falls vicinity. The planting at the Botanic Gardens was aided by officers of the Forestry Division. And finally, the Dominica Festival's committee has launched a new aspect to this year's World Prayer Music Festival. This year, Dominica will be celebrating 40 years of independence and the World Choral Music Festival is also celebrating a milestone, 20 years of pulsating rhythms. As part of the celebrations for this year, World Choral Music Festival Combo Pack will be launched. Last Wednesday, the Dominica Festival's committee held its first press conference for this year's festival. Events manager at the DFC, Marva Williams, gave details about this new aspect of the festival. You will get a phone cover, and we chose a phone cover because we know how much patrons love their phones. I mean, in most instances, your phone is your best friend, so we want your phone to be very secure when you come to enjoy the World Career Music Festival because it's different genres of music. You are going to be jumping and shaking, and we want to ensure that if your phone drops, that it is protected. It comes with a keyring, and your keyring will have attached to it a light, so you can light your way through the World Career Music Festival pack. And of course, an opener. So if you want to open your drinks, you know, maybe somebody might come in with a plastic bottle drink that might require an opener, you know, that's accessible. Uh, or even when you're out of the World Career Music Festival venue, then you can use your WCMF keyring to open your drinks. It comes with a drawstring bag because we want your hands to be free. So whatever you have, your phones, uh, your mini drinks, your makeup, you know, your wallet, anything you have, you can just place that in the drawstring bag. Patrons purchasing the World Career Music Festival Combo Pack will also receive the opportunity to purchase a 48-inch umbrella as a souvenir. The price for the combo pack will be announced later this week. Meantime, the festival's Duive Gerd are promoting the World Choral Music Festival and showcasing Dominica's talent continues this Friday. Next week, Friday, we are going to begin our Duives and to show our, our appreciation of the 40 years of independence, we have filmed our Duives. So on September 20th, we are going to celebrate 40 years of fashion. So together with the electronic bands we will have, we are going to highlight in a big way the contemporary and more so the traditional aspect of the World Creole Music Festival. Then we are going to move to October 5th, and at the October 5th Duive, we are going to highlight 40 years of music. So we are going to have some of the longest standing bands in, in Dominica. We are going to be graced with some of our traditional singing groups just to celebrate 40 years of music. The following week, which is October 12th, we are going to celebrate 40 years of dance. And of course, we will be graced with the presence of some of our traditional dancing groups, you know, ballet, uh, you know, folk songs and so uh, just to celebrate the 40 years of, of dance. The final Duive carded for October 19th will signify 40 years of local cuisine where local foods will be on display. The World Choral Music Festival is carded for the 26th to 28th of October. And that's the English news coming up next. Choral Highlights with Shakira Pear.
Bienvenue à ce nouvel accueil, non, moi c'est Shakir Père. Ecuador ni yo nef ambassade pour Dominique, Her Excellency Maria Augusto Carl Andrade. Mercredi ambassade la fait présentation credentials li par président Dominique, His Excellency Charles Savre. Dominique et puis Ecuador établi relation diplomatique depuis l'année 2009. À la cérémonie là, président Dominique, His Excellency Savre parle contre Memorandum of Understanding là pour établir consultation entre deux pays là pour coopération technique. Memorandum ça là été signé à sous le 14 août l'année 2014 pour établir consultation bilatérale entre le gouvernement Ecuador et le gouvernement Dominique. MOU là qui encourage la coopération en toute manière de développement économique comme l'État, science et puis technologie, culture, information, sport et puis tourisme. Objectif MOU là c'est pour chain meeting tous les deux l'année à ce issue bilatéral pour discuter manière pour développer et puis faire relation diplomatique la plus fort et puis pour aussi parler contre issue régional et puis international qui des pays là intéressant à dire. His Excellency aussi parlé contre d'autres initiatives Ecuador Capon pour développer l'économie Dominique. Ecuador intéressant pour faire un agreement et puis même CARICOM pour faire l'état meilleur en ces pays là. Ambassadeur Nefla dit qu'il est content pour continuer à travailler là qui établit entre Dominique et puis pays. En la nouvelle, même parlement pour constituer Saint-Joseph, Honorable Kelva Daru, dit même si le cycle de Marie est passé, le gouvernement a continué pour faire l'éducation et une priorité. J'ai dit que la 4e session pour le 9e parlement là, a commencé à faire le parlement. La session est pour parler de l'argent que le gouvernement a dépensé pour l'année 2007, pour l'année 2008, pour différents secteurs en pays là. L'argent sala c'est à valer 248 millions de dollars, 900 et puis 91 000 dollars, 776 dollars et puis 28 sous. Pendant qu'il était parlé en Parlement, même Parlement l'a dit, le gouvernement a dépensé à valer 3 millions de dollars pour faire 7 étudiants en université. Tout le monde a été là qui a continué pour taper à cet là pour avancer à l'éducation. Ministre a pris l'opportunité pour avoir la parole qui a sorti de la même opposition là, qui le gouvernement n'a pas fait un lien dans le secteur de l'éducation après le cycle de Maria. Honorable Daru dit que l'éducation est toujours une priorité pour le gouvernement Labour. En estimation supplémentaire pour janvier l'année 2018, pour juin l'année 2018, le gouvernement a dépensé plus de 5 millions de dollars, 668 dollars et puis 7 sous à Minis, éducation là. Et puis finalement, Digicel a fait une contribution à valer 200 000 dollars pour la chaîne World Creole Music Festival là, l'année ça là. Digicel a déjà fait un commitment pour te faire une contribution à WCMF là, l'année passée, mais Cyclone si Maria a passé en septembre l'année passée et puis le festival là, a envoyé pour l'année ça là. Pour mieux confiance média là pour WCMF là, l'année ça là, te pour pas mercredi semaine passée en privé cinéma là. L'année ça la festival là qui hold le 26 octobre pour le 28 octobre à Windsor Park Sports Stadium là. Si pour ça là c'est l'argent et puis service. Marketing executive and digital Tyrell Alexander dit company la bien plaisir pour faire contribution ça là. Il dit company là qui toujours si pour ses culture Dominique et puis bon exemple là c'est contribution là qu'il a fait pour festival là pour l'année ça là. Events manager en Dominica Festival Committee la Marvel Williams ou Monsieur Digital pour contribution ça là qui a fait World Curl Music Festival là possible l'année ça là. World Curl Music Festival là c'est une activité là qui a fait pas quand l'année Dominique qui a célébré indépendance. Ça c'est tout pour nouvelle Aquéon. Non, moi c'est Shakira Repair. Au revoir.
And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS on Facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica and follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I am Prisca Julian. Thanks for watching.